Flat tire doesn't mean to say the car's useless, does it? Just me and the film crew. We've got it. John Noakes got a film crew around him all the time. Me too. That's it. Focus up, matey. Nothing going on. Just us sitting here in this pub. Me and the camera around. They all hang around hoping something will happen. Hoping some. Something, some series will happen around me. <sighs> that inadvertent slip of the tongue did not help things. Apologise. Mustn't grumble there. This fella. Yes, sir. Nice day. What can I get for you? He's got a Whiskey. lot of front. Brandy. Quite a lot of side, too. Oh, you look like a bitter man. A lot of bottom. Quite a bitter. Very usable. Very usable. details of that. Seems to have expired. Well now, call me a populist, but uh, this is what I call exciting TV. There you are, sir. 95p, please. 95p, please. Yeah. Marcel, Marcel, I think I can probably straighten this thing out. Hmm. Um, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice that you don't appear to be... Uh from around these parts. Where, where, where are you from? Where have you come in from today? Mars. Goodness me, that's a long way. Well, that's, that's particularly fortunate. And you couldn't pick a better moment at all, actually, to come and visit us here on Earth, because um, I'm with a film crew. And you see, what happens is when you're with a film crew, they film you 24 hours a day. I'm Sir Val Singleton, John Noakes, all of the great. They film 24 hours a day, and only the best people As far as I'm concerned, I'm the host, you're the guest. Anything that I can show you, uh, I'm quite happy to. Being from Mars, you won't really have much of a historical perspective or any perspective on the planet Earth. Um, are you up on history at all? We're in an ideal place, for instance, just over there is Hadrian's Wall. Have you ever seen Hadrian's Wall? It's a wall that was built, big, big wall to keep people out. Have you ever, have you ever seen, do you have things like that on Mars? No, well, I'll tell you what, let's just wait for the cars to come and cross over. You know, there's quite a bit of blending in you're going to have to get to do, but I'm sure you're going to be able to manage it. There's some fascinating... <laughs> friend of mine is a Martian. Thank you. Uh, Fascinating things for you to see. Do come along. We'll go off the wall. So in Earth time, basically it would have been about 1973. And what I managed to do at that point is I've got my double O-gauge layout, uh, as opposed to the O-gauge train layout that I had, and it was really superb. I had the tunnels, the points, uh, the hillside, everything. I learned it off Blue Peter, actually. Have you ever seen Blue Peter? I don't know if you get that out in Mars. So the whole layout was all perfectly laid out. I had, it, I had a show at it, actually, at the Greenwich Borough Halls there. <laughs> You've, uh, you've got your voice back there. I must apologise. Yeah. That was going on so much, I thought I might have been borrowed. Banging well, on about whispering on myself. Yes. Yeah, I just needed to do that just to clear up. It must have been winded, I think, when I, when I landed. You've acclimatised yeah. now, though. Yeah. No, it's all right now. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. What's yeah. your name, by the way? Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, is that your name? No. I don't have a name. Oh, I'll just call you a Martian, then. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll have to think of a, of a method of getting you about. 
Um, how long are you going to stay for? Well, as long as it needs to, as long as I need, really. Okay, uh, how long do you think it will take to see everything well, we'll you need to, we'll need to show me? We'll need, we'll need, we'll need to have a, get, a, get a method of transport that will be able to take us about it. The weather's turned out a lot better than four cars. Uh, the best three or four cars. I thought you'd be safe. He's going to be away. Well, there you should say that. Because... Hang on a second. That gives me a very good idea. Just ahead of us there, there are um, some people walking. They look like professional walkers, and that's one method of transport. Oh, oh. please, should we go and well, say hello? I think it's going to be unavoidable, to be honest. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, we were just talking about walking, strange enough. It seemed like um, an ideal way of getting about. We are, uh, my friend's just come from Dunford Mars. Well, Mars. it is uh, very good, yes. It's uh, cheap and cost you anything to set up the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> He's not really well kitted out. You should have some shoes. Yes. No. yes. Shoes. Physical shoes? exercise. Oh. Yes. yes. He yes. No, shoes. no, he's from Mars. Oh, he's from Mars. Oh, from Mars. Oh. Yes. Did he just come here today? Just, just a couple of minutes ago, I met him in the pub up on the first. Oh, he must be feeling the cold a wee bit, you know. I think so. I think maybe we'll chat about getting some clothes. But that's very interesting what you said about walking. I like those walkers very much. I thought they had a very good point, and uh, and, uh, and I like the way they extolled the virtues of walking. Very yeah. nice people. They had a lot of clothes on and boots and stuff. They were nicely worn. Well, it's all important when you're on planet Earth, especially in this, what I'd call a very natural surrounding. For instance, I don't know quite how we're going to get across here. Um, well, the other method of transport, of course, that has been used for years, um, is the horse and the donkey. If we had one of those, we'd climb on the back of the horse, and, and the horse would take us across. Is this pop in the water there? It's a tradition here on Earth with first footers. That's right. I'm just going to get on your back now. You know what? I'm going to get on my, your back. It's a, it's a traditional sort of thing that we have here on Earth. We you don't know what you're doing. Oh, yes, just to get to the other side. Just to get to the other side, that's all. Uh, Off we go then. All right. You see? Silly. Uh, silly. Oh, silly. You okay there? Yeah. You see, it's reasonably, reasonably, um, reasonably successful uh, way of getting about is on foot. He said, I think, once again, mind my feet, mind my feet, I don't want to get splashed in. We so, don't want you to get them wet, do we? No. Thank you. Yes, I seem to be, I seem to be, uh, there we are. Um, thank you very much. So that, 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 that's, that's walking. I can see it's going to have its disadvantages, looking at it this way. But here, in this beautiful isolated spot, I think perhaps is the moment to just look, take in, and consider. Nice, isn't it? It's not bad. Mother Nature. It's quite chilly. For me to take you around this planet, there are a few things that you're going to have to uh, have to get. First of all, you're going to need uh, one of these. If the uh, sound people on this film unit are going to pick you up, you'll need a radio microphone. Because um, we'll be needing this. You haven't got any clothes to put it. I've got one in my pocket. You see, you'll, you'll be needing that so you can be heard. That's that end you're speaking to. Right. OK. Well, you're shouting into it, just put it out there, that's it. So, the journey in a moment will really begin. We're here in this rather rugged, rural, out of the way situation where man hasn't made his mark. I think for you to really start to understand Britain, modern Britain, modern yeah. 20th century Britain, late 20th century Britain. Two. We're One, going to two. We're, yeah. go we're going to have to we're gonna have to get you some clothes. We're gonna have to get you into the city. Yeah. And we're gonna have to get you a bit of microphone technique. Look, I really can't apologise enough. I should have, it's very thoughtless of me. I should have thought before that you're going to be freezing cold, and I think you're going to blend in far better with the people of planet Earth wearing that lovely suit. You're uh, right, you're right. I can't apologise for any embarrassment that might have been caused yes, earlier. Well, yes, well, we're at the end of the wall now. You see, and these stones were taken from the Roman wall's end and mark the position of the wall and its course from the camp of Segadun... I think that's Camp Segadunam. Yes, yes, indeed. So... Thus the Martian is now ready. He's fully clothed and he's prepared to start his journey. We're going to start by investigating transport and finding out the best way for him to get about. Where better to start then than with ships? Uh, this is um, Martian friend of mine and we're looking at transport. Good day. Good day. Good day. Um, so Good this, day. Is, this is where the, uh, um, the ships Life begins. Yes, that's right. You see that crane over there? Yeah. That's bringing plates in from, from road vehicles, from lorries, and they're brought into piles of plates here. Then a small crane, which has just gone past you, 
picks them up, having sorted them, and puts them on that conveyor. And after that, they're sharp blasted, so they call the rust off and painted before they cut to the size. So, what's this panel here? Well, that's actually a bulkhead near the bow of the ship, near the front of the ship. It's actually upside down at the moment. The fuel will mark somewhere, other components will be joined onto it. Yes. You see some of the components lying around. That giant Barry Garbill, man. <coughs> well, it's almost like a dressmaking pan. That's all the marks actually on the pattern itself. Another good Are they still afloat? Yes. All that yes. weight as well. That's the incredible thing. Amazing. What you're trying to convince me is that you put all these bits together and it put it in the water and it floats. It floats, that's right. I find that hard to believe, I must say. Well, when you think of the hull of the ship, a lot of empty space in there, even though we've got a lot of equipment in. So oh, yeah. that's how that's why it floats. A lot of, lot of air inside the hull. Right, right, I'm with you on that one. But now she's got a main engine in, four gas turbines, a driver. Uh, weapons and radars fitted at the opening key. Weapons? Weapons, because we won't need any of that. No? No. Furniture, I presume, a blend Furniture, yes, and all the... and saucers, yep. plates, and That's all right. of that, yeah. Yep. Well, and, all right, all right if, I'm order, if I want to order one of these today, right now, when can you have it ready, by? Like that. The same as this, when can you About three, three and a half years. And if I were to pay in cash for it, what cash? money would you be looking for? Real pound notes. Absolutely, cash pound notes. About 150 million. 150 quid, million? 150 million. million. Seems a bit million. dear. Well, thank you very much for your help anyway. It does seem a little bit steep and... Uh, right. Well, no value for money, but a little steep for us. Maybe probably, another time. No, no, not quite the sort of thing we were looking for. Okay. Thank you, yes. What's all that man's face in, you That'd be a beard. Ah. Uh, they're, they're very popular here on Earth. A boat and a beard, they both begin with B. A boat's transport. Um, a beard doesn't transport you, but of course your face transports the beard. Which he had. He was a bearded person, I think. <laughs> The capital city of Britain. Never seen anything like it, eh? That's quite amazing. It's really noisy. Lots of people, too. It's an unfair again, aren't they? Buses, that's what we're waiting for now, then. That's not a bus. That's a motorbike. It's clever, actually, interesting, because that stands up onto two wheels. So it's best down, down the pavement for now. Down the pavement. Two wheels, but they say gravity, it doesn't fall over from side to side because the speed keeps it up. We'll have to try one of those later, you can try one of those. There's another one, leave it, don't leave it, leave it, don't leave it, don't leave it. Yeah, now here's a bus, it looks like it's a bit busy, but some people are getting off. Some people are getting off, so we might be able to get on. Come on, come on. The bus. The bus, yeah. We let the people get off first. This colour is red, by the way. Red. Oh, and you were saying that it carries people everywhere. It carries people to where they want to go, to their destination. <coughs> it might be the method that we would use to get about. Cliff Richard used it a lot in the famous film Summer people. Holiday. Hello. Oh, a lot of people. There are on this bus today. Do you want to go upstairs or down? Go, 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 go. Summer Holiday. <laughs> Hello. 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 Well, if it was, if you were to be on, I would think you'd probably be on on a Tuesday night. Oh, my goodness. Did you excuse me a minute? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh dear. no, the no. Drama. A horrible drama. I do have to get back to him. I can't leave him. I can't trust him. We need a bus stop. Oh no, oh he dear. Careful there, Kaffa. Don't kill him. I'll leave him up there. Oh no, is this the bus stop yet? Are we there? Oh, oh no, not yet. Oh dear. Oh no, oh dear. Oh, I'm going to have to. Oh, no, I can't find him now. I haven't actually been separated. Is this it? Oh, thank you. No. Thank you very much for your help. Come on, come on, come on, come. come. No, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm a professional cameraman. I'm not damn careful. Any people looking can run to him? Oh, well. Get out of the road. Get out of the road. Oh, my. Please, please. Yes, they're talking, they're shouting at you over there. What was that, then? Oh, you mustn't just run off. You must try and stay with me and make the effort. Of course, a fascinating thing is, wherever you go, you're going to find walls. And it's always a mystery to see what's over the other side of the wall. And you, with your investigative spirit, will, of course, want to know. Yes, here, the other side of London, not the posh side, but the east end. What a view. I really do like railways, you know. This is the east end of London. Good. The uh, cranes, the rebuilding, the city of London where all the money's made. Yeah. And this is slightly poorer part on the edge. Oh, yeah. Bicycles. Good. Something relaxing about the city on a sunny afternoon. 
What's that? What's that over there? Just a... That's the railway track. This is a train, I think, coming here. No, it's a, it's a bird just fluttering gently, gently fluttering its wings above the railway track. So soothing. It's so even here in the inner city. There can be peace, you see. Yeah. That's nice. I quite like it here. Oh, here's a train. I do like trains. <laughs> It is. It is. It's a train. And it's an electric train. Yeah. I don't like trains. Mm? I don't like trains. Oh, there's all stains on your trousers. <laughs> 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 oh, God! <laughs> any evening, any day, if you're going this way, you'll find them all doing the Lambeth Walk. Oi! It's very popular around these parts. So is all this stuff over the wall. What is it? Yes, that's a particularly unusual one. What, uh, what is all this? I've seen it all over the place. That's um, what's, what was gruffy tea. Um, the uh, let's see, this particular one saying uh, Hitler, Hitler, Mister was God's high. I don't think that uh, that God got high on Hitler ever. Um, I don't think God probably takes drugs at all, and if he did, Hitler wouldn't be one of them. Um, I uh, I think we should ignore Hitler. Well, the only good thing he did was to make something run on time. Uh, I want a little bit of general knowledge. Do you know what that was? No, I've absolutely no idea. I'm a Martian, you know. Yes. Well, what he wanted to run on time was, uh, trains. They really are one of the most interesting forms of transport I find personally. I believe I mentioned my model railway to you earlier. And that was like a microcosm of how trains are, you see. They're ways of getting large amounts of people from one major city to another. How does a steam engine actually work? I've been trying to explain it to my Martian friend, but it's a little bit tricky for me. Huh? Well, basically, you have a, a coal fire in a boiler to boil water, which makes steam, which works the pistons, which turns the wheels. It's really, really very imaginative. Perhaps we should take a ride um, on a train to get the whole feel of it. Would you like to do that? Not really, no. Yeah, OK, yeah. OK, OK, then. Right, well, we're just going to take a, a little ride, if we may. Yes. <laughs> You see, all, 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 all art and music is based on the, on the steam train. Magnificent engineering and movement. Exciting. Sexy. The poetry of engineering, I'm sure you'll agree. The steam god. Of course, all the great boogie-woogie piano pieces were based on steam engines and railway journeys. glorious this um this railway and i think this railway is as i keep saying this particular railway is like a microcosm of all railways so i can show you how they work although this one only runs for 22 miles um it has very interesting history the man that uh, built it all what, uh, what what do these trains look like from underneath again well what do you mean what do they look like from underneath Yes, as I was saying, the man that built it all um, was a man called Captain Howe, and his uh, grandfather uh, was living in Australia, and he died, and he brought up a lot of Australia. It turned out to be Melbourne, Sydney. So when he left Captain Howe in the 1930s, his fortune it was worth millions and millions of pounds. Captain Howe was quite well to do, but he'd never had that sort of money before, and he was a model railway enthusiast. So he decided to build this railway. You like railways, do you think? No, no. no. I'm a big fan of trains myself. But I think to get a to get the full picture, you really need to go outside. We need to go outside and have a look at the whole oh, thing. I was going to have a look. Quickly. Have you have you noticed anything particular about transport here on earth? Uh, well, just just it's incredibly uncomfortable and incredibly cramped. Just yes. those two things that come like, to mind. I find yes, I find that's what it's like being with you. Nice to see you. Goodbye. Oh. Oh.
And of course, the fantastic thing of all, most fantastic thing of all, is in its first class, but the whole thing is built exactly to a third scale. A bit like you, really. a long thing. It was a very long train and I think trains are really fantastic things uh, but they're more used for getting large numbers of people uh, conveniently to a place. Uh, there's just a tourist. There's just a tourist. Also we are in a hurry and I think it's going to be wasting our time if we have to sort of build railway tracks to every in location. That I, I noticed these, to. I noticed these. Yeah. And in fact a lot of putting down, uh, yeah. a lot of work goes into it. I think we need something simpler. Have you ever thought of a bicycle? No, nor had I. Um, especially this rather unusual one. And this, he said bicycle, but it isn't, in fact. It's, um, it's more of a, I suppose, I've never seen one like this before. Um, of course, you couldn't have one this size full-size railway right because you'd have to have very, very wide tracks and uh -huh. strong limbs push it. Do you know one of the other curious and fantastic things about this little railway was that during the Second World War, uh, Hitler bombed it, mistaking it for being the main line to London. There's a thing. Yes, proving what a complete pillar. Uh, I think, sorts you out for the Second World War. Um, and trains, really. Um, let's talk about aeroplanes. I do have a friend, actually, who probably sort us out with an aeroplane. Um, his name's Clive. Clive's the man for planes. He really knows his business. Got a bit of a problem with his bottom, actually. Uh, Guffy Clive, we call him. Clive! How are you? Nice oh, to see you I've again. Been. Haven't seen you since the holiday. Um, this is a friend of mine, he's a Martian. What are you doing? Hello. Uh, and he's uh, popped down and we're, we're travelling about. We've looked at uh, different methods of transport for him to get about as an initial introduction and really as a device of getting us around. Um, we looked at ships, they weren't really that convenient, and uh, trains, and they're okay, but of course he doesn't like travelling with too many people. Um, so he thought planes <laughs> might be ideal. This one, well, what sort of cost would this one be? This one? This one's £25,000. Oh, it's not bad, is it? Uh, it's 1977 and it will seat four people. Oh. Uh, to learn to fly it would cost you about oh, two and a half thousand pounds, I guess, and uh, oh. uh, 40 hours flying minimum. I like the shape of this one. It's like a caravanette sort of a thing, isn't it? I rather like that. We could well, probably sleep on that yes. as well. This one seats uh, seven, eight people. It has even a toilet in it. Yo, oh, let's go. Let's have okay. a look. Yes. Don't oh, yes, touch yes, there it is. There it is. Don't touch anything. All right. Oh, oh hello. Mm -hmm. You're sitting on it. Well, you should come and join us. Oh. Tell you what, I've noticed that people always take their the airline pilots always take their jackets off. Perhaps we should do, do that. that. Yes, we could do that. They do do that. Is that for a particular reason, Clive? Do jackets off? I don't know. Just to feel comfortable, I suppose. Yes. It is isn't a remarkable bit of sleep. I've never, been, I've never been so close to a Martian bottom. No. A, yes, it's really quite revolting. Come and show us what. Uh, okay. Then. I'll go through here. Will I, Clive? Um, this oh. is a fascinating plane. Oh. And, and I sit here, do I? Up in the window. Mm. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'm in the window. Oh, <coughs> well, it's, it's comfortable like a car, isn't mm -hmm. it, I suppose? What, uh, okay. steering wheel? If you were going to give us a quick run through, if we okay. didn't want to do the whole eight hours. The whole eight hours? Pull back, you go up. Well, not quite so violently, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, turn to the left. You turn to the left. You also put a little bit of left rudder down at the same time. And we turn left. And turn it to the right, and we go right, right over the right foot, we go right. Not quite so violently when we're this flying, This would cause actually. very violent beaks. That would make everybody sick. Push forward, we go down. Yes, that's the stopwatch. That's pretty convenient. And what did you say this one cost? This one's £52,000. And how long would it take for us to learn to fly this one completely successfully? To fly this aircraft would probably take you at least 100 hours. 
Uh, unfortunately, 100. we haven't really got that time. It's all right, though. I could see how, and, and how much would it cost to land each time. Uh, about thirty-five pounds. Oh, that's ridiculously that's expensive. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, help anyway. I think perhaps we ought to go and look at motors. I think maybe that'd be more sensible. Motors, there's a the thing. But but oh, mind your bottom now. I've got the aerial very close. Yeah. Very expensive, very expensive. Oh, right. over, over, over hundreds of miles is what we'd have to do. I think there's only one answer, an investment where we can maybe get our money back. Something that will take us personally from A to B. Something that will maybe exhilarate us, excite and titillate us as we drive around. Something that gives us a bit of an image. I'm talking about the motor car. Ah. The motor car. Uh, this is Evelyn Car Sales. Uh-huh. Uh, very reasonably priced cars, you know, very sensibly priced. In fact, I can see now exactly the vehicle for us. It says to me surf, it says sand, it says sex. The exhilaration, the excitement of powered acceleration. It's Route 66, it's summer, it's everything. It's perfect for us. And Austin Allegro, just in there, do you see it? Oh. It's the uh, top of the range model, I think. Oh, oh, there's a Skoda. What a beautiful cream puff of a motor, look at that. Yeah? All original yellow, uh, yellow paint. Le no, leave that, they're tools to mend it with. We should go and talk to the governor about this. And what about that? There's a ca caravan on the back of it, look. Ah, right. quid. Mind you, it would be a bit wacky to go about with a caravan, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's the open road, though. Good names they've got, haven't they? Carl? Yeah, they've all, I was going to say they're all different names, aren't they? Nice Jack there. I suppose you can tell them Hello, Bill. Hello, Jules. How you going, mate? All right. Cheap, No, no, still. By the way, that's Clive. He's very well. He's, he's, um, yeah, he's well. He's well. We just thought, yeah, he's well. Oh, good. We haven't seen him at No, not since holiday, was it? So what can we do it for, mate? I'm here with a Martian friend of mine, showing around Earth and uh, and looking for a car, really. Quite like to have a look at the Skoda over there in the corner. Ah, Skoda. Um, just got to have a little start of travel on that one. Oh. But I can get it put right, but have a look around something else. Eh? Okay, then. Let's, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, come with you. Yeah, after you. you after leave you. Yeah, okay, there's one up the front now, quite. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, one up the front. Well, yeah. You point it out at me and I'll, I'll get it put right. Come, mate. Nice yeah. cars. Actually, oops, look at this. We quite like the look at this one. The blue one, quite like this blue one here. It's Allegro. The blue one? Yeah. Uh, that, that, that should start. Right, the key's in it if you want to start that one. There's a bit of rust on there. Though. I know, but, you know, I mean, I'll put that right if you want me to. Do. Put right. a bit of P38, a bit of paint on it. Uh, to get that one out of trouble. Yeah, I think, um, I think perhaps the brown one might be, might be Does more this rust. Does one go? That Does one, that's a nice one, yeah. Is it a bit of tax on it? And again, Is another it? bit of rust there, I suppose. A bit, a bit more rust oh, there, good. but you know, I'll fill that's it up and spray it over for you. But it is, uh, it is last year's tax, isn't it? Ah, well, uh, yeah. But it's MOT on it. Oh, right. MOT, oh, right. MOT. Oh, that's fine, that'll do a bit. Yeah, Let's pop our coats on and have a look. Um, try you want to hear it? Yeah. Right. Why not? There you go. So we'll be leaving, you see. We'll be leaving. Oh, you want a little bit of insurance, and away you go. It has got a bit of tax, haven't you? Put your coat on before we make the deal. For the money. Yeah. Before we make the deal, coats on. Oh, look, oh, the door, right. door just automatically opens. Bit of music. Got a wireless in it. If you'd like to come along, all you have to do is... A little bit of music. It's nice. Right. Oh, that sounds nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all right. And um, how much would you want for this? What would you take for this one? I'll give a bit back for luck, eh? What? Two and a half? Two fifty? Uh, what? Should we say two hundred quid? All right, give us 200 quid, you bought it. Okay, though, like, well, you just try, can we just try it, though? Yeah, of course Great, you can. Thanks. Get in, thanks, uh, thanks, uh, thanks, just pop it around the block. Yeah. yeah, take what you like. Quick. quick yeah, give it quick, a try, one, one. Yeah. Take the stickers off. Oh, uh, well, I will leave them in it, so... Yeah, take the stickers off, I'll get that car moved. One minute. Right. Marv! Get in the car, Tom, come on. Get in the car, get this, get in the car. <laughs> thanks a lot, Billy. We'll give this one a go. Back in a second. Yeah, well... Take my second. Here we go. Yeah. That's it. The open road. The open road. Oh, God, my God. Quite fancy that red road, sir. Uh, old Corvette there. No. I think there's a bit on the dear side uh, for us. I think this is more our price bracket. Yeah. Also, it's more anonymous, and I think that's an important, an important thing. We'll uh, blend in with everyone else. Anonymity we'll stand is. Stand out. He said we could go to Spain in a car like this. Did he? Yes. Where's that? Uh, that's another country. There's a person oh. running around us. Well, well, it seems all right. It runs, doesn't it? It goes. We seem to have a, we seem to have a running situation here. Let's pop it back and uh, give him some money. Oh, well, it's a little shortcut, I think, on the way back here. Let's get back. Um, Keep going. I think we're OK there with that, yeah? That's so, right. So, um, essentially, I think we've got a bit of a... I don't think we should buy this car now. 
No? Mind you, I think the clutch was going anyway. Was and it? Last year's tax, not really us. Um, want to get out, really? Not a very nice colour, is it? No, mustard. No, I'm all right, I'm all right, thank you. Don't worry about <laughs> Hello. Um, hello, I don't like the sound of that. That's not... Oh... Is that for us? No, I think not, no. Hold on, I'll, I'll cast you off, hang on. Back a bit. Back a bit more. Go on, you've got plenty of room. Back a bit. Just a little bit more. Get it towed out, it was, uh, this is Pally. It was this man's car. This man with the striped jacket, it was his car. Yes, it, we, we were intending to pay for it, weren't we? Yes. Billy, we're not going to pay for the car. You may be better. Uh, I can't, I can't move it. No. Yes, interesting, interesting motor car, that. Um, but we're walking again, aren't we? We're well, back walking. Yes, always back to the walking. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, you've got to make your decision on your form of transport. I am convinced that the motor car is going to be our most convenient method of transport. But you um, didn't fancy that one? No, I don't no. think anybody would have fancied that no. one. Uh, but you've got to be selective about these things. Always walking. Um, yeah, you always get what you pay for. That's what my uncle Roald uh, used to say. He also oh. used to say, uh, never cut your toenails on a Tuesday. It was a bit of a pillock, really. Engineering. That's our watchword. We want high quality engineering because if we, we've seen all the forms of transport, we've worked out a car's the most sensible one. If we buy, good morning to you. We're expected. If we buy a silly old banger, it's not going to get us very far and we've got a lot of mileage to do. Leave that alone and come along and try and keep up. So I'll chat to the bloke. Oh. Good morning Hello. to you. Mike Allen. Jules Holland. Nice to meet you. Martian. Hello, nice to meet you, sir. Sit down. Um, a friend of mine, uh, well, I and my friend here, we're looking for uh, a car. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we've come to the right place. I think we have. Um, um, to be honest, we've seen a lot of sort of different ways of getting about, but we've, do, we've come to the conclusion that a good quality car is probably, probably the uh, probably the best way. Um, we've got some lovely, lovely cars. We have here. indeed. Yes. Was there a budget you had uh, in mind to work to, or? No, no. Money's money's not uh, money's not really a problem. Mm -hmm. um, no, what about probably. something like this? I think this would probably be very nice, yes. That's an Aston Martin Vantage Volante. Lovely. That's £94,500. That's quite dear, isn't it, as a it car? Is. Why don't we just get a rocket? This bloke's a complete non-star. Look at him, he doesn't know what day it is. The ultimate That's driving really Bentley. Lovely. Oh, this is suit us. This really would 19,000 miles. <laughs> oh, it's got a nice bit of... Oh, typical. Yeah, go on. Well done. Pratt. Oh, hang on a minute. Um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Uh, I should, I should get back, really. I, I, no, oh. What about a Rolls Royce? Actually, I do think that that is that is the that sums up British engineering, and it does indeed. That particular car actually represents very good value for money. That's fifteen thousand pounds. Oh, that's not. And good. it's a Rolls Royce. And how old is how old is this? That's uh, nineteen seventy four vintage. That really very is very lovely. well kept. Full service history. Finished in Le Mans blue, metallic. Spirit of ecstasy. Absolutely yes. Yeah. Very famous radiator shell there. And uh, magnolia leather. Lovely. Jump in. This is a, uh, yeah, very interesting vehicle That's indeed. That suit the job? I think it might. Uh, chat with all. That's fine, that's what we want. Yeah, oh, it's not bad. Yes, lovely. How much is it? 15,000 pounds, sir. Yes, I think you said. 15? That's indeed. It seems value for money to me. It's incredible value for money. You've got like smooth as silk, isn't you, sir? Lovely. How many miles? We've got air conditioning, self-leveling suspension. Cruise control, everything you'd wish for. Very luxurious. Ultimately reliable, I suppose, as well. Fantastic, yeah. Hey, you're yeah. silly yeah. Martian. Don't miles, look at the wings. Do you have a service uh, history? We do indeed. Full service history from you. Oh, thank you. Could we see it, do you think? Uh, yes, it'll take me a couple of minutes to find it. I'll just go and get it. Excuse Thanks. me. Thanks very much. That kind. Nice, helpful man. You put, put them up there. Ba-da-ba-da-bam. Ba-da-ba-da-bam-bam. Bam. -ba -da -bam. Ba -da -ba -da -bam, -bam.
Say that to me, Cara Stolen. Let's find a phone box. It's just borrowed. There's a phone. They're red things, right? Why does it smell so horrible in here? Uh, it's a tradition, British phones. Uh, it's not the phone, it's the uh, people come in and they um, they sort of double up as. Uh, as uh... Hello, Elbert? Elbert, how are you? Got a bit of a problem. Um, uh, problem. I've got a nice shadow one. Need a bit of a conversion job in a bit of a hurry. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, could do with the years to get some plates. Tell them we stole it. Uh, do with the years tickets and plates, uh, and uh, other than that, yeah, all above board. Certainly it'll be cash. Yeah, round to your garage. No, round to B and D's. Okay then, Elbert. Okay then. Cheers, no, have a right one, but blinding result out of that. Cheers. Thanks, bye. Right, shake very hard, then spray vehicle. Right, shake it, go on, shake it. Shake it faster, uh, faster. Oh, 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 oh. It should uh, be explained very quickly uh, here. This is not just stupid uh, vandalism. Uh, this car has been stolen, thus it has to be uh, described. This lovely grill, uh, looking like the ancient uh, carpet of ancient Greece, has uh, to be described. Uh, so, uh, remember, I repeat not, I repeat not, mindless vandalism. Uh, the spirit of ecstasy, a gorgeous thing, has to be disguised. That way people won't spot us. I don't have the bottom half of the car. Good in fact. Two turns out of there. Okay, once we've done this, people won't spot us. Go on, Mosh. Go on. Okay, I say, okay, I say, I say. I said not mindless vandalism, and there's a lot. There's a lot more we've got to do this evening. We've got a theme coming on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a Martian thing. Uh, Hello. It says bottoms. Uh, How are you keeping, Skip? It says happiness. It says warmth. It says ambassadors of love. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you and me looking at Britain. What? Hey. Uh, Hello. With our groovy car. Turn the lights on. 